Hey, this is Artifax Mars. Uh, I was talking about the uh, Bush bill that, according to the media, is talking, uh, was designed for mass asylum from these uh, Central American countries. I mentioned that on Tyranny Watch News, and I decided I couldn't do a good enough job uh, on Tyranny Watch News. So, what I wanted to do is show you this. We're going to discuss it in a little bit of detail. A lot of people don't know, don't realize that there's still very much a an act of slave trade here in the United States. Do you know that? You better get the kids out of the room because I may slip off a little. I'm pretty hot. Uh, kids out of the room. Look, um, this is called the Wilbur the bill that they're talking about was H.R. 7311, 110th Congress, the William Wilberforce Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act of 2008. Oh, it's a real bill. It was signed by Bush. But it doesn't apply. It has no blanket authority over our current situation with the uh, illegals flooding in from Mexico. This is the point. Now, slavery was never eliminated here in the United, United States or anywhere else. Oh, oh, wait a minute. You're crazy. I can hear the liberals now. You're crazy. Abe Lincoln eliminated slavery. <laughs> no, he drove it underground. Slavery is still very much active in this world. <laughs> we fought a civil war! <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, we, sla we freed the black slaves that were here and turned them into second class citizens and eventually they got full citizens rights. What you don't know there's some of you may not know there's another type of slavery called indentured servitude. There's actually been a number of different types of slavery. The sweatshops, uh, coal mines, and indentured servitude. Many whites were taken out of European countries the same as uh, blacks were taken out of their countries in Africa. But this is still going on. Oh, you, you're freaking crazy. <laughs> no, not crazy. Look up your history. They had, they had a lot of black slave owners in the South before the Civil War. That is a known historical fact. But the only disordered liberals usually are incapable of understanding basic facts. Much of the slave owning was done by blacks. Not all of it. But supposedly at one time, black slave owners outnumbered whites. Slave. Okay, so... Slavery was never eliminated. It was driven underground. And there is an act of slave trade. Today we call it human trafficking. Somewhat euphemistic, I suppose, but still gets the uh, point across. And Wilbur, William Wilbur Workforce Bill was designed to help, especially young women, come into. William Wilberforce Trafficking Victim Protections Act. 
That's a tough one. Tough one for me to say. I have to read it. But it was established to help people who came into um, these Latin American countries. Let's say you have a cleaning ring. I haven't been able to find a reference, but supposedly there was some of these upscale department stores who were using essentially slaves from other countries to clean them at night. And why the see why this didn't make front page news I'll never know. And why the you know CEOs of these countries or at least start companies or at least the uh, store managers they should have gone straight to prison and spent their rest of their lives in prison for this. I haven't been able to find a reference spot, but I did hear it. So, bottom line is, this act was designed not for mass asylum from these other countries. It was designed, essentially, to help people who are victims of slavery. And you know, if they're found to be slaves, they can be... We can help them out. We can bring them to this country. You know, if they're brought here as slaves. That's what this is about. But of course, you're not told that by the media. We're told that this is a blanket amnesty slash... Uh... This is a blanket amnesty thing where we are said we can bring anybody into this country that we want to bring in and so forth. A blanket asylum bill. That's what we're being told it is. And it's not. So you're being fucking lied to people. This is what I'm... This is what fucking pisses me off. It's all lies. William Wilberforce Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act. H.R. 7311. Just look it up. This is about human trafficking. See, most of these people are coming here so they can get on welfare and live a good life at the expense of people who actually break their backs and work. Now, how is that fair? Most of this is not human trafficking. This is the point. And you're being expected to bust your hump harder and harder so that these people can come here, go on welfare, and live the good life while you're sweating and running. That's not fair. It's not right. And it's illegal on top of that. I would have tanks on that border so fast if I had the ability. Like I said, it gets worse. They're obscuring the uh, identities of some of these kids, so-called kids. And that makes me very nervous. I haven't been able to tell whether they're where exactly they are from. Maybe they are, are all from what do you call it, uh, Central South America. But they have found Muslim relics. Even a book on a language it's called Ursi or something like that. that the language is... Uh, it's a book that translates between that language, which is a very obscure one, and English. And it's a Middle Eastern language. And they found prayer rugs and other Islamic relics. So some of these could be Muslim terrorists. They've had, they've had illegals from as far away as India. So if they have them from India, then they can have them from anywhere. This is the other thing I was looking at is we don't really know where a lot of these young men are from. Now, they'll show the women in videos, but they don't show the men, generally. They black out their faces. 
So these could be enemy soldiers from another country. I mean, you've been betrayed. It's so clearly obvious and it's pathetic that we've been betrayed. They're fleeing this country, and even if there is no military action, no violence, none of that, even if that's so, even if there's no enemy to fight, they're still going to collapse our economy. And that by itself will lead to violence. I don't see any way out of it unless we get that border shot and start immediate deportations. Of course, they're not going to shut the border. Like I said in Tyranny Watch News, uh, they're not really spending the money on um, uh, getting to deal with the situation. They only spent $25 million. So, I want you to think this over. The intention of the bill, you're being lied to by the press. we got to have some kind of action here. We can't just sit on our asses and do nothing. Get information out, spread videos, do anything you can. Because we're under attack, people. You don't understand this. This is an act of war. I'm not the only one who's saying this. I've been listening to Savage and... It's just beyond belief. You know, he says the same thing. A lot of people are saying the same thing. This is an act of war against the United States. But your coyote in chief is the one that's behind it. What am I supposed to think? I see an act of war against the United States. I know who's behind it or coyote and chief Barack Obama, then I expected to think that everything's normal. These people it's I just don't know. I totally flummoxed by these people. I'm totally disgusted by all this. And before, you know, I mentioned Lincoln's slavery and all that. Lincoln was not a person. A lot of people don't know. Most people, if he had assassinated uh, this country, would have probably been a hardline dictatorship right up through today. Today it's a soft dictatorship. With Obama and, uh, at the helm. You see, when John Wilkes Booth assassinated Bush... Uh, not assassinated Bush. Assassinated Lincoln. Sorry about that. He was actually... He said six semper tyrannus. Thus always tyrants. Lincoln was a tyrant. This is a dirty little secret. Regardless of what you might, th might think about slavery and... Freeing up slaves and all that. He was a tyrant. He was putting... Put hundreds... Uh, journalists in jail or trying to report on war and he did away with habeas corpus. He was a tyrant. He was a full-blooded tyrant. From what I understand, he was an atheist, not a Christian. So don't think for a minute that a president can't betray you. That one assassination might have saved us from having a permanent dictatorship in this country we're having a fascist country today. Well, didn't really save us forever now, did it? But definitely changed our history. So don't think that a president can't betray you. You have been betrayed. We have been betrayed. Obama is betraying us. And this is what I'm saying. Uh, Obama is no Lincoln. He's completely... He's similar in some respects, different in others. You've been betrayed, people. Learn your history. Learn what this is about. 
But when you're coming in the border as an act of war, it needs to be dealt with appropriately. And most of all, you've been lied to. You've been lied to about the Bush bill. You're being lied to about what you have coming in the border. You've been lied to about your history. Look this stuff up. We've been invaded by Mexico before. Pancho Villa and all that. Look it up. Wake up. Wake up your neighbors. Let them know there's something going on. You've got to sound the alarm now. While we can still reverse this. We don't sound the alarm now. Then we're going to get screwed. One way or the other. Get off your fucking asses, people. I've tried to tell you before. Get the fuck off your asses and do something, say something, wake people up. Jesus fucking Christ. And there's another thing. Went back and his fucking Christian people and finally alienated me completely from Christianity. This is kind of personal, kind of not. See, when I was unemployed, I went and I had my unemployment taken away. I went to three different churches begging for help. One of them was a second life church. All the two were real life churches. All of them flatly refused. Yeah, they're going down there and they're giving them away. You know, they're feeding these people. It's all very admirable. But the point is, they'll uh, go and help these lawbreakers that are coming here breaking our laws, and they won't help a regular American citizen. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if that's going to be the way you'll help lawbreakers, but you won't help somebody who's just trying to survive, then this is not a religion that I want anything to do with. So Glenn Beck and his little tribe have actually seen to it that <laughs> I'm going to shun that religion completely. And it is a religion, it's not a relationship. It's ridiculous to think that it's a relationship. Uh, I don't know what's going on with these Christians. They're working hand in hand with Obama, and I don't like that. Even I don't like that. I'm all for religious freedom. I'm, you know, you can't regulate what they say in church as far as their sermons and stuff, but what I'm seeing going on with these Christians working hand in hand with Obama, who is one of the most nefarious people I've ever seen, uh, that's not good. And I think it needs to be looked into. The Glenn Beck and his tribe, there's a whole list of them that are involved with this. They've been getting involved with this. It's actually been going on for a long time. These uh, churches offering sanctuary to illegal aliens. They won't help, you know, a person that's out on the street. They'll help these illegals. So there's something seriously fucked up here. And you need to wake up. Get off your asses. Wake up. Get out there with fucking cameras. I'm going to try to track down. I don't know what I did with my camcorder, but I'm going to find that fucker. And I'm going to be watching for illegals. Because something's going on. They're blacking out the names and the faces and all this. Not names, but the faces. And we don't know. They can be from the fucking Middle East for all we know. Get off your asses, get out there with cameras, photograph, try to find out what the hell's going on, and this is important. It's, it's vital that you record what they're saying if you can. Record some of their voices. So we need to know what language they're speaking. That'll help us track, are they really from Central America, or are they from the Middle East? That type of thing. They're not from Europe. That we know. I'm talking about the males that they're trying to hide the identity of. I'm not talking about the women and children. You know, 
they show these heartbreaking pictures of the women and children. They're more than willing to show us that, but there's something that they're hiding, and I don't like that. I'm getting a little long here, so I'm going to go. I'm Artifacts Mars. Wake up. Wake your neighbors up. You're in trouble. If you don't realize that, then you're pathetic. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for listening.